Hi everybody, Kicker Fools here, and welcome to another Magic Movie Edit Pro tutorial. Have you ever wanted to do the beam up effect or be in a transporter like they do in Star Trek? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. This is Captain Kicker, beam me up. Kicker Fools here, and welcome to another Magic Movie Edit Pro tutorial with me, Kicker Fools. Today we'll be working on the beam up effect. Very imperative that you use a tripod. You need to keep your video as still as possible. Real easy, all you have to do is film yourself going out there and beam yourself up. Now you need to stay still when you beam yourself up. You need to stay still for about 8 or 10 seconds, however long you want your beam up effect to be. And you right when you stopped it right there where you're going to beam up, I want you to go ahead and save it as a JPEG or a BMP. Just save it to a picture. Okay. Once you've saved that, you'll need to go to Paint. And you need to uh, bring up your picture. And what you're going to do here is you're going to make your own special effects mat. Um, what you're going to do is basically white out everything around your subject there, which is me, by the way. White it all out. You can kind of see what I'm doing. You know, if you want to use a different paint program, you know, it doesn't matter. Some, you know, they got better programs out there. Um, I use the one that comes with Windows. So you want to cut it all out and make it white. <clears throat> okay. You get what I'm doing here, right? Okay. So, get as much of it... Um, as you can then you'll have to come in later on with your paintbrush and you'll have to do it by you know by hand by free hand it's a lot of work but you're gonna have to do this then after you get it whited out the subject matter or the picture yourself you're gonna have to black it out so you're gonna be making a, a special effects mat and go ahead and save it and this is what it should look like the finished product now go ahead and take that picture right down to where you started the beam up effect where you're holding yourself still for eight to ten seconds and place it right there okay now you're gonna have to do some editing here some cut and slicing and go ahead and take your video to the end of your video effect and go ahead and splice it There you go. And get rid of that other video. Don't delete it. Just set it to the side. And come over here at the beginning of your uh, mat and splice that as well. That way you'll have a beginning and an ending. You're, you'll know where you're working at. Okay. Now take, get rid of that picture for a second and take your leftover video and put it into your cut video there. And what you've made is a dissolve here. See how it starts to dissolve? Right here see what I mean but there you go as you can see I started to walk away a little bit too quick so you need to stand still like I said for about eight to ten seconds so you can get this effect okay so now that you have that there what you'll need to do is go ahead and take your uh, picture and put it below right at the beginning of your splice and go ahead and click on it and you'll want to go up to your video effects key if I find it here there it is video effects and I want you to hit it on an alpha key and that's the way it should look okay there we go and make sure your arrow is pointing up okay now go find your background I got this one off digital juice you know you can get them anywhere they're, they're all over the place it's just a background loop and what you'll want to do is place this video background right below your mat and what I what I need you to do is go ahead and dissolve it a little bit or there you go and then go ahead and fade in and fade out there we go and uh, there you go there you go that's the transporter effect or the beam up effect now the only one thing left to do to it you have to put your sound to it and I got mine off it you can get them any place just Google it and you'll find you'll find your sound you can find them on YouTube and just go ahead and put your sound on there and there you have it um, I hope you found this tutorial useful hey, and if you like it subscribe uh, this is kicker fools and we'll see you guys later and I'll see you on the tube